Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is one of the most advanced smartphones ever, but here's the truth. Most people only use about 40% of what this beast can actually do. So today I'm walking you through seven powerful features you should turn on immediately to make your phone more secure, more productive, and honestly, just more fun to use. And before we dive in, only 8% of you are watching are subscribed. That means a huge 92% of you are missing out on the latest tips and tricks for your S25 Ultra. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, tap that like button and turn on the notification so you're always one step ahead. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you can turn on Google Advanced Protection. So the S25 Ultra already has some of the strongest Android security, but when you enable Google Advanced Protection, you're moving into an entirely different league. It's designed for people who want maximum security. So think journalist, business leaders, or anyone who handles sensitive data on their phone. So this feature uses stronger sign-in methods, blocks Shady's app install, and constantly check for suspicious activity in the background. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and bring down your quick panel, then tap on settings, scroll down and find Google. Now here you wanna go ahead and tap on all services. Now scroll down and find advanced protection. And this basically tells you advanced protection helps defend against online attacks, harmful apps, insecure connections, and other threats that put your data at risk. So go ahead, scroll down and switch this on. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So now if you go ahead and scroll down, you'll see that your device is protected. So it basically gives you a device safety, protects you from apps, protects you from network, protects you on the web, and protects you through Google Messages as well. So by turning this on, you're essentially putting a digital fortress around your personal information. So your Google account, password, emails, and cloud data are far less likely to be compromised. Even if someone tries to hack into your phone or trick you with phishing, this setting dramatically lowers the risk. It gives you peace of mind that your private life stays private. Feature number two is where you can enable the permanently delete option in My Files. Normally, when you delete files on your S25 Ultra in My Files app, they just move into the recycle bin. So where they basically still take up valuable space and can be restored. So this might be convenient, but it also means your phone is carrying around clutter or worse, private files that could be recovered. Enabling permanently delete option adds a one tap option to completely wipe files instantly. So let me show you how to add this. So first you wanna go ahead and open up my files. In my files, you wanna go ahead and tap on the three dots at the top right, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go and scroll down and find my files lab. Now this is a secret menu, which can only be enabled by doing a certain step. So to enable that, go ahead and tap on about my files and then go ahead and tap about seven to eight times on the version number until you see a message appear here saying my files labs has been enabled, go back, and then you'll get this secret menu. Tap on this. Now from here, turn this feature on and here you need to go ahead and find this feature called permanently delete option. So this will show the permanently delete option in the delete dialog. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now go back, close my files, and then go ahead and restart it. Now go ahead and try to delete a file. So let's just say, for example, this file here, we'll go ahead and long press on it, then tap on delete. Now at the bottom here, it'll basically ask you if you wanna move that file to recycle bin. However, you don't want to do that. You wanna go ahead and delete it permanently. So go ahead and select the permanent delete option and then press delete. Now, once you do this, this will skip recycle bin and will delete the file off your phone. So this is a game changer for privacy and storage management. Sensitive files like IDs, financial documents, or even personal photos can be gone in seconds. So this is like a zero chance of recovery. On top of that, you'll free up storage instantly. No more waiting, no more hidden trash folders. It's cleaner, faster, and much more safer. Feature number three is where you can access Bluetooth devices via settings instead of wearable apps. So if you ever juggled your Galaxy Buds or your Galaxy Watch or other accessories, you know the hassle. Normally, you need to jump into the Galaxy wearable app just to manage the connection. So by updating to One UI 8, you can now access your Bluetooth device settings through settings. So all your devices are centralized, so all in one easy to reach place. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example, I'll go ahead and connect my Bluetooth headphones. So my earbuds, it's connected. 
Now to access the settings for this, I can go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, then settings. And within settings, I'll see my Bluetooth device. So as you can see, the Galaxy Buds 3. I'll tap on this. This will basically open up the settings for that device. Now I can go ahead and configure my earbuds. So I don't need to go ahead and open up the wearable apps. So this means less app switching, fewer taps, and faster connection. So you can pair, disconnect, or check battery levels for all your Bluetooth devices directly from settings. It saves the time, reduces frustration, and gives you a smoother experience. So whether you're swapping from music to calls or moving between your watch and earbuds. Feature number four is where you can force multi-window for all apps. The Samsung split screen multitasking is already impressive, but not every app supports it by default. So with the force multi-window option, you can override those limitations and can run app in split screen or pop-up view. So here is an example. If I go ahead and open up the Argos app in split screen or pop-up view, it won't let me. So here, I'll just go ahead and show you this. So I'll go ahead and drag this from my edge panel. And as you can see, it gives me this message. Can't open this app in split screen view, drop it to open in full screen. So I can now go ahead and open it in split screen or pop up view. If I just go ahead and leave this, this will open in full screen. So let me show you how you can force your Samsung S25 Ultra to open this in split screen or pop up view. So to do this, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap in settings, scroll down and find advanced features. From here, find labs. From here, find multi window for all apps, switch this feature on. This will allow all the apps to open in pop-up view or split screen, including apps that haven't been designed for these layouts. So we'll go ahead and tap home. We'll go ahead and bring down the edge panel and we'll go ahead and try to open this Argos app in split screen. So as you can see, now it's that me open in pop-up view. If I take it up, this is in split screen view. So this unlocks the true productivity and entertainment potential. Imagine watching a live stream while replying to text, running maps while chatting on WhatsApp, or taking notes while researching in Chrome. So instead of wasting time switching back and forth, you're doing it all at once. It's like turning your phone into a portable workstation, perfect for students, professionals, or just hardcore multitaskers. Feature number five is where you can enable accidental touch protection in display. So a big, beautiful screen like the S25 Ultras are also prone to accidental touches especially when the phone is in your pocket, bag, or even when you're holding it awkwardly. So the feature filters out unintended taps and swipes so the phone doesn't react when it shouldn't. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find display. Now here, scroll down and find accidental touch protection. So this will protect your phone from accidental touches when it's in the dark place, such as a pocket or a bag. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now, once you do this, and once you place this in a dark spot, like your pocket or maybe a bag, you won't get any accidental touches, even when your phone is unlocked. So turning this on saves you from embarrassing pocket dials, unwanted app launches, and random battery drain. Your phone only responds when you mean it to, which means more reliable performance and fewer annoying surprises. It's a small setting that can prevent big headaches. Feature number six is where you can turn on notification history. We've all done it. You swipe away a notification too quickly, then realize it was important. So with notification history turned on, every alert is saved in a log for 24 hours, even if you clear it by accident. So let me show you how you can turn on this feature. So here we'll go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find notifications. Now here you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find advanced settings. From here, find notification history. Turn this feature on, and then you'll see all your notification histories for 24 hours. So this is like having a safety net for your digital life. You'll never miss a text, a reminder, a message again, because you can always scroll back and recover it. So whether it's work, school, or personal communication, it gives you confidence that nothing slips through the cracks. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can turn on the touch indicator on your screen. So when this setting is activated, a small visual indicator appears every time you touch the screen. At first, it might look simple, but it's incredibly useful for demonstration, gaming, or even troubleshooting. And also in my past videos, people have been asking a lot about how to turn this feature on. So let me show you how to do this. So first, go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down all the way until you get to the end of your menu. 
Now here you need to go ahead and turn on a secret menu called developer option. So this can only be turned on by enabling something. So to do this, go ahead and tap on about phone, scroll down, find software information, then find the bill number and go ahead and tap multiple times until you see a similar message. But this will basically say developer mode has been enabled. Now go back, go back to settings, scroll all the way down and you'll see your hidden menu developer option. Tap on this. Turn it on, scroll all the way down, and find Tap Indicator. Or Show Taps. Go ahead and turn this feature on, and this will basically show you visual feedback for your taps. So wherever I tap or wherever I move my finger while pressing it, it'll basically follow. You'll have a yellow circle or a green circle, which basically be shown on screen. So if you create tutorials, play games, or just want to see exactly how your screen is responding, this feature gives you instant visual feedback. You can confirm your taps are registering properly, track your finger movements in real time, and even show others how to navigate more easily. So it makes the S25 Ultra more interactive, precise, and user-friendly. And that's it, seven hidden features on your Galaxy S25 Ultra that can seriously level up your experience. From ironclad security to pro-level multitasking and everyday convenience, these settings turn your phone from just a flagship into a true powerhouse. So which one are you turning on first? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what features impressed you most. And don't forget, only 8% of you watching are subscribed. Thank you very much for that. If you've made it this far, clearly you love unlocking hidden tricks. So hit that like button, subscribe, and click on the bell so you don't miss the next deep dive into the S25 Ultra. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.